Yo, what's up, everyone? My name is Dave, and you suck at programming. All right, we're going to jump right in. A bunch of you guys are being uh, big crybaby losers in my comments. You guys are being super cringe, basically saying, does this guy even know what he's talking about? Does he just iterate through things? Does he just do a bunch of guesswork? It looks like he doesn't even know what he's talking about. I do that for your sake. Of course I know what I'm talking about. I know everything. I'm literally the smartest person that's ever lived. Okay, so when it comes to Bash, and you guys are wondering, oh, how'd you know to do this? You're just doing a bunch of guesswork. No. I read the documentation. It's super easy. You guys ready for this? I'm going to show you how you do it. You can do this at home. You can follow along. Ready? Man bash there you go documentation for bash all right jokes aside i'm being 100 percent serious read through this if you really want to understand the shell that you use on a daily basis for your job if you're like a developer or you're just interested in tech in general 1000 percent not joking no sarcasm read through this take the time read through all of this you will have such a better understanding of the shell it will no longer involve a lot of guesswork you'll understand when to quote certain things when to use curly braces things will just make more sense there are so many good sections in here it shows you what a login shell is it shows you which files are read when bash starts whether that be your bash profile your bash login your profile your bash rc there is so much good information in here and uh oh man's not happy with me all right so let's back out real quick so what can we do well in the shell if you want to know if something is built into bash or an external command i talked about this in previous episodes you can use the type command so if i run type echo i can see that echo is a shell built in now some of you would say well i can just use the which command which tells you where it is on your file system so for the which command it sees it sees a uh, bin echo if i do man echo this brings up the man page for that command. As you can see, echo doesn't support a dash E. So if I were to call slash bin echo dash E hello world, it would actually print dash E hello world. That's not what I expect because if I call echo just as a uh, bash built in, it interprets that argument and doesn't print it. As you can see, there's a difference there. And the reason for that is if you use type dash A, I can see that echo is two things. It's a shell built in and it is bin echo. So the shell actually prefers the shell built in over what's on the file system. So use the type command. And if you want to get the man page for that built in, you can use the help command, run help on its own. And you can see every built in that bash has. If I run help echo, I can see here's the documentation for echo. As you can see, there's dash E like we expected, even though the one in the file system did not support it. So use the help command. That's super base. Definitely not cringe. Use the help command in bash to understand more about the built-ins. Read the man page. You will understand so much more. And that's how to get better at bash.